Hi guys, it's Shishkabarber1 coming right back at you with another Boom Beach video. Uh, today's video, guys, we are farming in 6CR as we uh, save up to go 7, like I mentioned in the last video. Um, we're going to just pick up these building healths right on the last day, and if there's anyone left, we're going to be pushing at 250BH. I'm not sure when I'm actually going to make the switch to 7ER. I think just getting heavy choppers will not be enough on its own. I think at the very minimum, I'm not going to go to 7 till I, I at least get one of these building healths, but I don't know. I'm just kind of seeing how other players are experiencing the waters right now, and it's very tumultuous, okay? Um, there's a lot of ups and downs. A lot of people that have, like, hit 7, unlocked heavy choppers, and then lost a couple of ranks. You know, they've gone from, like, 23 down to 19 or whatever. I've heard a lot of different stories. Then I've heard people that are doing well with heavy choppers. So, um, it's a mixed bag right now. It's great. I love it. I love the confusion and chaos. Uh, let's talk about the leaderboards. Let's talk about the cutoff. Uh, two videos ago, I made the prediction. Let's follow up with that. Let's take a pulse of where we are. There are two days and 16 hours left in the uh, season. This is almost exactly 48 hours since I recorded that video two days ago. And back then, we had um, the cutoff line at 2273. So, we've gone 2737, we've gone 42 stars. We've gone 42 stars in 48 hours. Now, what did I tell you guys the rate was? I told you guys we were doing about um, 20 stars per day, or 20 stars every uh, 24 hours. Well, as you can see, we've just seen the rate of 21 stars for every 24 hours. So, estimation wasn't that far off, but it was under. However, we already adjusted for that in the conservatism by calling rank 24 the projected cutoff line for top 500. This is still highly speculative, people, because th these these trends are not linear. I'm making a linear extrapolation, but I do know that the player um, activity rate is a highly non-linear function. It it's human behavior. So we're just taking a linear extrapolation model and applying some conservatism to it to make this projection. So there's the disclaimer, and I'm well aware of what I'm doing and the type of data that we're working with. Um, but there you go. 24 should be good. I think we're going to see a lot of parking. So if I really had to guess, I, I think that star rate per day actually turns down um, as we approach the end of the season. But, uh, you know, the opposite could be true, too. It could be a mad rush and everyone's playing and that star rate goes up because we've seen seasons end like that before, too. So who knows, right? Anyway, let's just jump into some hits. Um, I know we only had the one live hit on that last video. Now, I just woke up. I got my coffee and everything. So, oh, man, let's just jump into it. It's been a while. I need to get these chests for them because we don't want to go 4 or 4. And, you know, we can feature some more live hits for you guys. Hopefully doing some fire and ice stuff. Oh, here's a 24. Yikes. Okay, well, he's, he's a uh, rabbit hole 7. He's got the 150 BH. Nothing more than that. Taking a look at Protos, we see Shock Blaster over here. Another Shock Blaster over here. Very common feature. Um, My goodness. Okay, let's let's think about this. Seeking on that's going to be really tricky. Sometimes I like to seek these things, but guys, I'm just waking up. Um, I think we're just going to run this. We're farming. Like, I honestly don't care. I mean, there's an argument that could be said, I should just stop right here and park at 23. Maybe that's the highest I'll get this season. Maybe. I don't care. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of the best way to hit this. All right. Something like this. Yeah, I guess we'll drop another bomb here. You know what? Let's just fan it all out. Heck, why not? Taking out some of these boom mines, because, you know, we don't want to worry about them. That's what we got the artillery for, anyway. We're just looking to clear it. Oops, boom cannon's going to take out one of those bombardiers. Um, you know, maybe he'll mess up on my base. That's kind of all I can hope for here, honestly. I mean, I'm sure I could make another stellar time, but again, guys, I'm just waking up. I'm farming. I know, it makes for the best content, huh? Well, you, you never know. You never know what we're going to see. Plus, you get to see what's out on the waters, too. Really need to pay attention to these flankers. It's actually been a couple days since I've hit a 7. I saw them a couple days ago, and then I haven't seen them. But now I think we're seeing them again. Is this boom cannon not dead yet? On the right. Now I need to get everybody over to the right. I'll do that as soon as the CR is down. Okay, let's flare over here. I didn't check behind the statues, but I think we'll be okay. I probably need to shock the shock if I have any chance of getting bullet in front. Let's put a smoke on the bombardier so they don't die. 
queue up a shocked knuckle. Maybe another smoke even. That flare needs to be redone. Let's drop a med kit under here. Like I said, we're going super, super slow. We might not even finish it. I might just have to edit this one out of the old video. No, I'm just kidding. We'll leave it in. I'm not reshooting. But, I just wish I had a better hit to showcase for you. But such as warships, you know. And with the building health, things really slow down more. You know, something else I've been hearing a lot um, is that people at 250 building health have actually been um, using scorchers. <laughs> because um, the uh, I guess the heavy choppers run out of heavies, and they're running Kavan with scorchers. And Kavan, you know, I mean, yeah, he can res heavies, but he can't res the heavy choppers. Whereas you can res a scorcher, and that's a lot of health. So I think some players are finding some value in that. Whoops, that shock knuckle's completely worthless. Well, at least we shocked that sniper's tower. We showed him who's boss. Yep, farming away. Farming away. Might just fast forward this in the video as well. Or we can just edit it out. Like, cut some of this stuff. I don't want to waste your time either. It's the thing. It's like, you know, it's there's a good question. Like, should you show failed hits? And I mean, there is certainly value in that. But then again, there's only limited time that viewers have to view content. And, you know, what content do you most want them to see? Well, you probably, generally speaking, want them to see content that benefits them the most, which is successful hits. I don't know why we medkitted a boom mine. Um, apparently, I need to check to see if that coffee actually had caffeine. And we're gonna die. We'll just flare the shock blaster. Just get it done. Just get it over with. Oh, we got six. <laughs> Who is that? Okay, some person I don't know. They have a lot of letters in their name. Let's take a quick look at their hit. And the good news is we only lost six stars. Yeah, but we did lose our win streak. Come on, and uh, two, four, five boats of bombardiers. Here come some heavy choppers. I'm guessing they're rank one heavies, because that's why we see the early riflemen. Mm. Oh yeah, I think, well, I think they're rank one. They are dying pretty fast. Because he probably wants to have some rifles mixed in there too. Either way, he, he plowed through us. Uh, got a decent time. Seek that uh, one on the ramp here with one boat. I was mentioning that before in a video. That that's one of the vulnerabilities of this base. You can do that. But you have to sacrifice a boat. So yeah, he managed to do this with just uh, two heavy choppers, I guess. Five bombardiers and one seeker. Good hit, sir. I appreciate the ERs at least as we're farming all that tech, getting ready to go to seven. Yeah, let me know in the comments below too uh, what your plan is, because I've noticed everyone's got different plans because it really just depends on how much tech you have, you know, like how soon you got into diamond and stuff like that, and also what stuff you've unlocked. So everyone's kind of got different uh, different plans going into the end. So let me know what yours is. I'm curious. It's still possible that while I'm doing all this farming. I might be farming for nothing. Like, I might realize, well, you know, the time to come to 7 has come and gone, so maybe I'll just end up parking after farming. I don't know. <laughs> We're just going to keep playing, though, to find out. Oh, these queue times. I think I think other people are, uh, you know, I think a lot of people are in hiding right now because a lot of people don't know which way to go. There's a lot of uncertainty out there. Okay, here's Dirty Six. This is more our cup of tea. These are the kind of hits we were doing the other day. Um... Let's feature that with the cryo, the fire and ice. That's, I wanted to feature a live hit for you in the last video of fire and ice, but we didn't find a base that met that criteria. Um, now, anyway, the thing to keep in mind here is the shock blaster. It can be shocked. It's a little tricky, but we just got to flare the, uh, the butt crack flare. The thin little blue lines where they cross right by the uh, rocket launcher. That will, you know what? That might not be shockable. It's a different configuration. This sky shield right here is only three tiles from the wall, whereas this one is four. That has me worried. We'll find out. <laughs> this one might not be shockable. Um, okie dokie. Let's see. Bullet. Bombardier, 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 bombardier. 
we'll go Scorcher and Cryo. Are you going to go to the Sniper Tower, or do you need a Flare? They probably need a Flare. Bullet made it. How about the other guys? Okay, they're good, they're good. Scorcher and Bombardier on the left. Oh, one Scorcher went left. Well, yeah, that's kind of okay. Not really, actually. Because we kind of needed a Meat Shield to go with the uh, Cryos. Well, this is going to be a good video on what not to do, ladies and gentlemen. This will be a what not to do video today. But, you know, hopefully we get some chests. That That is our goal. And not lose too many stars in the process. I think that's a, that's a worthy goal. Cue up another Shock Knuckle. Maybe put some critters on all these mines up in front. We gotta keep an eye on the lip. How's Bullet doing? We're not. Oh, we're about to get shock blasted. Let's get the knuckle off. Okay, now we gotta go for that shock that I don't even know if we can hit. Here it comes. I think we got it. Okay, it's shockable. It's shockable. I wasn't sure though, because that, that's a different sky shield configuration. Usually they are offset four tiles from the wall when they do those crisscrosses, but I noticed that one was three, so that did have me worried. Whoops, not paying attention to the lip. Need a med kit down. Um, Bullet is needing to get a shock on the shock blaster. Although the Scorcher's coming in for that, but Scorcher's also taking the Doom Cannon. Let's go ahead and get a knuckle in there. Whoops! Flamethrower. No, well, we knuckled a few things. It, you know, it's looking okay. We're, we're, we're pulling this one through, I think. Still got a Cryo alive. Look at her go. And there she goes. <laughs> okay, let's just prepare for the Hail Mary. Uh, the Shock Mine needs to go. Still got a very healthy Scorcher, so we're looking great in this regard. Uh, we know we're going to need one shock for the rush. We can certainly afford to spend one if we so choose right now, but I don't think we need to at the moment. Sniper Tower doesn't really need to go down on the rush. What's going down anyway? Um, shocking, flaring. Going to med kit right in this area by the mines. Cycling that shock. And artillery. Here we go. I feel all right with this time. I like to get in the 140s, but 138 works for me. Let's see how Tan Pro is doing. And that's a W. That's a win, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it looks like he had a Kavan death. But you know, he's, I think he's gonna pull it out. He's got a very healthy Scorcher. And that's the power of Kavan. I mean, honestly, you really don't even need Kavan in the end of the fight, so you just need him to get a couple of Scorchers out, maybe two or three, and he's probably already done his work at that point. All right, I'm just trying to stay hydrated here. It was a cold morning in Texas. It was uh, below freezing this morning. That hot coffee was good, but I drank it quickly. Anyway, and just like that, we're picking up some stars. We lost six on the previous match, haha, <laughs> but 15 for the first one of the day. So we're up nine stars from where we started. I'll call that good. Um, let's take a look at our tech. Is there anything, because we got a lot of um, tokens. Is there anything we can spend it on? And I guess I made the cardinal mistake of not showing you my tree again at the start of the video. But um, here you go. You know, we're working with rank 4 flares. I think I'm okay with rank 4. I don't feel like I need to go to rank 5 right now. Oh, the artillery could be maxed. I know we're going to hit that. See, we're not going to have barrage this season. We're not going to have rifles. We're not going to have zookas. We're not going to have heavies. Um, basically, I've got some choices about upgrading right now. Now, I know we're going to need tokens for the building health and the heavy choppers and all that junk. But honestly, we have tons of tokens. I don't need to do the math. Um, I guess it would be smart just to go ahead and max the artillery right now. And, uh, you know, we can always take another tick in GBE, right? Now we're at 110% GBE. And, uh, you know, let's go one more. Now we're at 120% GBE with max artillery. Okay. I like that. I like that. Moving forward. This might be a longer video, so I'm going to just do the whole chess collection process. I don't even know what the title is yet, but obviously you do, because <laughs> I've already made the title by the point you're watching in this video. Something involving chess collection, I'm sure. Um, hey, it's a seven. And they've got this opening grappler. I think Chicken was running a base like this. This one's really popular for heavy chopper players, because um, 
At the start of a drop, you know, there's not many heavies out, so the grappler has real potential to work on the back line, and it forces the player to spend some GBE. In the upper uh, 7ER meta right now, there's a big thing with barrage and artillery being maxed, and it all comes down to having enough GBE to, to bard out one sky shield for a Hail Mary, and it can make a big difference in time. So this is sort of where this like grappler and front strategy is coming from. If it doesn't really make sense when you're looking at it, it does make sense at a higher level, especially against heavy chopper players. Um, yeah, we don't need cryos for this. Let's focus on this hit. We got 16 seconds to figure it out. Um, I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, do we want to run taunt? Yeah, let's just run taunt. I don't know. We see a grappler, we run taunt, right? That's what we do. Okay, check the range on it real quick. Oops, oh, oh goodness, bullet. I don't want you to go over there, buddy. We'll do a dead flare. That'll actually kind of work out. A couple of bombardiers, taunt. Taunting right before the shock hits me. All right, now we got our troops rolling. Critter for this mine, watching taunt, keeping it up. Clearing up uh, boom mine. Uh oh, we're not gonna be able to taunt that one. Shock it. I should. I should. I forgot we were messing with the shock launcher. Um, I forgot I had to taunt through shocks. That's what happens when you don't scout properly. Okay, let's get a taunt going. It's down anyway, it's fine. Um, now we just need to keep an eye on these flanking boom cannons because I totally, totally messed that up on the last time we hit a base like this. And this is a very common meta base, ladies and gentlemen, so you definitely want to pay attention to these things. I shocked it even though there's a bunch of critters going over there, but the good news is we don't have to worry about that thing again. How's Bullet doing? Uh, we can taunt the shock. I think that might be helpful. Shock's down though. Let's shock the boom cannon. We're about to get in the flanking position on the one on the right. Um, bombardiers might need a med kit. Yeah, they're getting focused. How's that boom cannon doing? Let's cycle. And med kit. And taunt that rocket. Uh, we can re-flare over here. Well, uh, man, should we just let it? Let's let it go and see what happens. We got one bombardier. I don't think I can keep him alive. I certainly don't have GBE to support him. But I honestly still don't have the best way to hit these yet. Um, I was doing seeker hits before, but I just, uh, well, kind of forgot. Kind of forgot to even plan this hit, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> just talking my way through it, telling you about the virtues of that grappler and why it's there without even thinking about my hit. That's okay. Oh, uh, what are we doing with these guys? You're going to hit that boom mine, aren't you? Aren't you? Of course you are. Uh, some critters over here. I want to make sure we get this ER down. Stay off my bombardiers! That was the point of the critters. Give them some other junk to shoot at. Because as you know, those shock blasters, they will just shoot up everything and anything, it seems like. Now, I need a flare over in this corner because I do not want to hit more mines. And I'll need a med kit. And we're going to hit that shock mine anyway, aren't we? Aren't we? Of course we are. I wanted to med kit all of you. But that's just not going to happen now, is it? Get a couple of smokes. I don't like how bullets not in front yet. Heck, we can even open. Well, taunts a lot of GB for what I got. Oh, taunt it anyway. It's really the best option I have at the moment. Now we just need that sky shield to go down, and then we can flare. Wishful thinking, though. Hey, I didn't even check this guy's stats. I think he was a 150. I probably would have noticed if he wasn't. Flaring. Send in some of that max artillery. Well, at least we got 70 yards down this time, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think our opponent had a great time either, but it certainly wasn't as bad as 34 seconds. I definitely got to focus on how to hit these things. Yeah, minute 32. You know, that, that's solid. Let's take a quick look. Hey, what's up, Zeros? Take a quick look at their hit. Oh, here we go. Yeah, 4-4. Four, four. So when you see 4-4, four, four, it almost always means rank 1 heavies. So, yeah, you can watch them die. But th this is my plan as well. I mean, I'm, I'm banking on the 4-4 four, four hit too. Um, but with Bullet, not Sparky. You know, they, they get through. It's rough. But there's enough distraction with the four of them. And some good timed hacks going through there. I know we're going quad time, but I'm just, it's a heavy chopper hit. They're just mowing through it. You kind of get the idea. 
in. I just want to see how much, you know, they're still got some very, uh, pretty much a full health heavy chopper by the end of the hit. But that doesn't mean you should bring three. Uh, you should still bring four because, like I said, a lot of it has to do with the distraction. Just the four of them pump out enough of those level one heavies to, to kind of make it work. That's sort of how we've seen the meta evolve. Looks like we're going to get in one more match here for the video. I'm not going to spend any more right now because I, I do need to do some calculations. But I knew we could spend all of that junk earlier on. Um, and frankly, I don't need any more GB. You know, artillery is max, so what am I going to spend it on? Um, I mean, I could spend it on more GB, and I probably will, but it's not necessary. You know what I'm saying. Fill in that airspace. Come on. Give us an opponent. It's probably a 7. Maybe I'll try to seek it this time. I won't bother telling you about the virtues of that front-loaded grappler. Which, there it is again. But, you know, these things have gotten a lot better, actually. I was able to seek these earlier on because they weren't doing things like hiding the shock launcher and stuff. Um, I mean, doesn't mean we can't do it. Just takes a little longer. It's got 150 BH. All right, why not? Why not? Put on a show for you. We only need five ERs anyway, I think, for the collection. So it doesn't really matter as long as we get five. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. And hopefully we don't mess up our drop this time and just randomly drop bullet like we did before, because that wasn't cool. All right. Bullet. Bombardier, Bombardier. I, I kind of like that uh, flare on the mortar, to be honest. Scorcher, Scorcher. Bombardier, Bombardier. Taunting. And yeah, we do have to taunt through a shock. We're not going to forget that this time. Now that Doom Cannon, I'll tell you what, let's shock it because I don't want it getting all that value on the uh, Scorchers. Uh-oh. Might not get a shock or a taunt. Ooh, that was quick. You know, the, the cycling changes sometimes because they're at different intervals, so we've got to gotta be mindful. But I don't think we need more taunts because it's going down. Trust that boom cannon in the center. In fact, I'm gonna flare it. A couple of med kits. As soon as the Argos down, we start seeking. GB is a bit low, but you know, YOLO. Where's Bullet? Oh, there he is. Couldn't see him because of the. Uh, the shadow glitch stuff. Yeah, taunt would be good. Taunt that rocket bullet. Um, suck some of the junk that's going to hit us. Maybe throw some critters that might distract. I hear dead bombardiers everywhere. Oh, that boom cannon. Flanky, flanky, flanky. But if we can just get the CR down, and the critters did distract, I think we're going to get the R down. We're, we're kind of in good shape, actually. A taunt would be nice so bullet doesn't die. Critters would also be nice to help in the bullet resurrection effort, although I think Taunt's a little more valuable at the moment. And then we'll Critter as we come in to finish it here. Oh, that Bombardier needs a little assistance. I'm afraid to flare. Well, let's do it anyway. Well, he's dead. Please don't kill the Bombardier. The Seekers have a little bit of health, thank goodness. You know, not a stellar time, but we're going to get it down. Faster than the one before, though, that's for sure. I needed to keep a better eye on the Bombardiers. I'm sorry these hits aren't that stellar, it's just, um, I guess I'm not firing on all cylinders this morning. Oh, yeah, artillery. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, 59 seconds. Almost, almost over a minute. I know these hits can go faster. Maybe it held up. I don't know. But he finished me right kind of when I... Oh, by two seconds. We got it. We squeaked one out. Greasy. Let's take a look at our opponent. Um, looks like it's a 
Oh, they got cryos. I love it. Yeah, I love using the cryos too. But maybe it slowed them down a bit, you know? That's one of those things, but it does make the hits safer, right? That's why I like them. And we've got a lot of tokens to spend anyway. So I like your style. Probably rolling, yeah, rank one heavies, so you need everything you can. In fact, I might roll a combo like this, honestly, I was thinking about it. Like three heavy choppers, one cryo, and the four bombardiers. Now granted, I don't have Kavan, but you know, it's same same idea, we got bullet. Um, Yeah, okay, cool. Well, let's wrap it up right there. I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching me farm my chest this morning. And uh, yeah, please let me know in the comments what your plans are for the season, how things are going, or anything else you want to tell me about. And uh, yeah, cool. Hope you guys have a super fantastic, awesome rest of your day. And remember, like always, be kind to others. Because if you're not, you're just being mean, and mean people suck. Take care.